What's up guys? Before we get started, you can catch us on all socials, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at MNX Music. Like and subscribe the channel. It should be down here in the left-hand corner. You go follow us right now. here. I'm Michael Angelo. I'm explosive. So what made you guys decide to collaborate together and make MNX? Well, um, it was a mutual friend and uh, he honestly knew that I made music for a long time and he knew Randy was starting to make music and was starting to release stuff and he got us in contact. Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta link up with my guy Michael Angelo, man. He makes music too, and I'm like, oh man, it'd be dope. You know, me and Michael are, are both talented, and we wanted to put our stuff together to see if we couldn't find like a mutual sound. Me personally, I like to make trap music. Um, my heart has always been there. I love like just the energy that the crowd gives off when they hear these songs. Me and Randy actually went to a, a show last weekend, and he. He, you can tell that he just his heart is not like all the way there. But I was so hyped, <laughs> I was so hyped, like I literally wanted to go nuts. But um, trap music is where my heart really is. But ever since I met with Randy, uh, a lot of things have changed for the better for our yeah, music. I, I totally agree with that. Like when we got started, uh, we did more of like a trap speed, but it was uh, very melodic. It was like more like future based mm -hmm. and. Um, I still like doing melodic things, whether it's future bass, future house, future, uh, what is it, future funk. Um, but the, I'm, I love chords. I love big, sexy, neo-soul or soul chords. Yeah. yeah, I love putting them in all different kinds of genres of music. So um, I think ultimately we switched our cohesive brand to just be, for the most part, house music. Right? Doing it alone in this industry is tough. You know, having two heads is better than one. And, um, you know, here we are releasing music. When we got started, it was Michelangelo and Explicit. And it was like, well, why can we not just, like, shorten it like a, mm -hmm. like a bit lately? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, M and X rolls good off the tongue, and here we are. So this year, you guys announced opening your own record label company. How's that going so far? Yeah, so Signify Records came out of um, a situation where we had to pivot real fast and do our own thing. <clears throat> so uh, we're putting out 24 records this year. That's our goal. One Two down week. already. Yep. One every other week. And um, we got a, a heavy campaign for promotion, artist support, playlisting, um, sync licensing, publishing. Some of the stuff we're kind of still learning about as we go along. But, uh, you know, we build the parachute on the way down, baby. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> How does it feel to be helping the community and local artists? It feels really good, to be honest with you. We never really thought we would be in a position to be helping out. A lot of the people we've encountered, um, they don't really know like how to take their ideas and produce them out to be real songs, and then thus going in further and you know putting it out for distribution, whether that be self-releasing or on a record label. So you know, getting them from point A to point B is, is really dope, and we all succeed together. What has been released so far under Signify Records? Um, January 14th, we came out with Rhythm, and it was like a British bass house style track, and we made it in under, like, around four, around four hours, and I sent the sense to Randy. Later, later, yeah, yeah, not even eight hours yeah. later, it was a completed track. It was a jam. It turned out amazing. Are there any future releases on its way? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, we, got a, we got a tech house banger. 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 <laughs> coming out on the 28th of January. What are your collab plans? Yeah, um, man, we have some amazing people on Signified. Um, we can't legally talk about right now who we're putting on there, but there are session musicians, there's vocalists, there's songwriters. Um, a lot of these people, like we said before, just have not ever put out music, but they have the talent to make a song what it is you know on a lot of songs that are popular out there there's everybody on that record yeah you know and i don't think we're going to do anything different so we're going to keep that steam going and you guys will find out so <laughs> stay fucking tuned <laughs>